Hello from our living room at Patina Farm. Steve and I thought we would do a deep dive into the design of our living room, kind of starting where the, the design started and, and how it came to be. So um, I thought we would start maybe kind of walking around and we'll discuss certain design elements and how they were worked into the overall picture of this space. Okay. Okay? Sounds good. So if we want to walk around this way, one of the things that was really important for us is that our house is very connected to the outside. So Steve, you designed these kind of big banks of windows. Um, yeah, so connect. these are yeah, these are all steel windows. They completely open up. So they go wide and open into the outside. And then there's a big screen up in the top that drops down. So this thing can be a uh, uh, almost like a screen porch, this piece of the design. And then I wanted the house to feel like all the walls were made out of stone. So these are about three foot thick walls with these carved in um, uh, cabinets uh, for books. And then I also wanted to create a place to take a nap, which I really like. So this is about a 30 inch wide. Um, and I often find him just like just this. Just pass out right here. It's a nice spot to take a nap. But if you, you really, when you do a window seat like this, you want it at least 30 inches wide. So, you know, it's, it's nice and deep. And then you can have, you can, we created almost the same thing outside. So there is a uh, outdoor patio there and then an indoor version of it here. Because of all the beautiful landscape we have outside, we wanted to have that same feeling in here. So it kind of flows indoor, outdoor. So we have this beautiful tapestry on the wall that has a lot of those kind of natural colors. So that allowed us to kind of connect to those same colors outside, all the kind of natural um, browns and taupes and greens and blues. And then we, we have that in our uh, pieces as well. So we did the old leather chairs and the natural linens and then some tapestry pillows as well. But we wanted, we wanted this space to feel very comfortable. So all the pieces, nothing is real precious. So even this like vintage gym mat that we use as a coffee table on, on an industrial... Yeah, so yeah. it sits on this old industrial well, base. Yes. Here, you can kind of see that. So it's really, it's it's great looking, but it's not real precious. Yeah. So we so wanted people to feel real, there you go. This I'm is the other, this is the other place I find it quite <laughs> often. So, so nothing is real precious. Everybody could put their feet up on it, or we often use like old breadboards and we serve appetizers on it. And then we use these kind of rustic tables for drinks um, and, and really it's that kind of high, low thing. So we'll have these tapestries and, and rustic linens to create these spaces. And I always like love my old Swedish pieces. And then this was just the stump <laughs> from a job that I pulled some, some beams on a, a job that I was working on last week. And it just looked just like a, the right size for a coffee table. Perfect for a drink and it looked right. kind of cool here. So our, our new martini table. Yes, <laughs> it's a right. stump. Right. Um, right. But we, this, this ended up being the key piece in the whole room because as soon as we decided to put that up, it gave us the color palette, it gave us sort of everything it about set, the room. It definitely set the, set the mood yeah. for the entire room, for sure. And then the TV is behind this piece, yeah. so just tuck behind there. And uh, for those of you who wonder how we get it over the TV, we just flop it over. We don't really watch TV in here all that much unless the kids come over and we'll watch a movie. Otherwise, we just watch in the bedroom on our iPad. Yes, we're, we're that kind of couple. <laughs> um, but anyway, so, so everything is always kind of in flux in here because we often put things in our clients' houses or they sell, you know, so, um, but there's always some sort of antique uh, chairs, Swedish chairs and a settee um, over there and uh, lots of books and our, our, uh, our piggies and, you know, bringing in those kind of outdoor elements, which like the pigs are kind of an outdoor element, and then bringing in uh, the trees and pots and things. And um, then this is an antique Swedish uh, piece yeah. too, right? And then yeah. we've got some old pillows and then to it. And then there's a, just a, a, a cool little lamp on a, <laughs> on a chair. 
that just lights up the corner of this cabinet. Right, and speaking of lighting, like the rest of our house, we don't have any recessed lighting in, in this room. We light it with floor lamps and little table lamps, and of course the, the, the big chandelier that's in the middle of the room, which is by Curry & Company. It's not a very expensive piece, but, but we love it because it's just kind of simple and a little rustic. And, and what, what the lights like this do is it lights up the ceiling and lights up the walls and doesn't light up the floor necessarily. So it gives you a nice glow and kind of paints the room with a really soft color. I also like how these little lights in the hallway kind of light up the groin vault. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, these are cool. In the ceiling. And they're neat because they're, they're quite low. They're probably only six, eight. But the thing that these kinds of lights do as opposed to a recessed light is it lights up the ceiling. Yeah. A recessed light just lights down. Yeah. So I find these lights to light things up in a much prettier way, mm -hmm. kind of a nicer illumination and allows us to see all your beautiful architectural details. There you go. Now you're talking. Yes, 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 yes. So, and this is just a, um, a lot of the pieces from Steve's uh, family's plaster studio. So all of this is from Giannetti Studio. Um, and just kind of lives here all over the walls and all over the floor and on that piece. This piece was actually outside and we brought it inside once it had gotten enough uh, stuff growing on it. <laughs> um, and then we've just used candles to kind of illuminate this area. Just, it just shows you how the candlelight and the kind of light we like does the same thing. Right. It's just a little bit uh, brighter on real light. And then these are, these are all Italian half shades but it does a really nice job of lighting up the artwork and doing a nice contrast to the rest of the of all the pieces on the uh, in there. So as you can see, our living room is connected to our dining room, just one big open space, which allows us to use it for a bunch of different purposes. You know, it's a dining room. It's also where we do a lot of meetings, or Steve and I will lay out um, all different kinds of uh, fabrics and stuff and, and drawings and kind of look at things. It's a great place to kind of do that stuff as well. And then our house, uh, we included a lot of antique elements. Um, as you can see, we have the antique beams in the ceiling and the uh, plaster grills that are from Pacific Register. They're not antique, but, but they're very interesting kind of uh, architectural element in the house. And of course, our antique limestone mantle is kind of a focal point on this stone wall. So what we did with the stone in our house, um, we've mentioned this before, is we did a light grout over the stone. So you still got the texture, but you didn't see quite as much variation in the color of the stone. So it, makes, it, it tends to make the wall look more solid. Um, so the grout is all done flush, and then you kind of almost like paint over with the linen over the top of it to give it this old world texture. And it complemented nicely the, the texture and colors of the old uh, mantle and kind of works, you know, works into the theme of something being a little bit rustic and not too fresh and precious looking. Yeah. I, I always think of our house as the combination of kind of modern and really rustic because we don't really have any molding, uh, crown molding, or anything um, base molding in the house. But then we have like these really rustic pieces like the antique mantles and things like that. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of that, you, you, you can't really get a, quite a grip on this house, whether it's kind of really rustic or if it's got, or if it's modern, and I kind of like that. Nobody's quite sure when it was built you know, I like to have people <laughs> kind of wonder it. about it. Yes, people are. And so it does these really, it, it has these dry doors that open to the outside that swing completely open. And we'll open these in the summer and then screens that pull out of the wall. So it can really connect to the garden outside in a really nice way. Finally, we use a lot of the of the lights, of mm -hmm. the picture lights, to illuminate the walls. This I thought was uh, worked out really well. A lot of Steve's artwork and a couple of of our favorite, you know, Jennifer Moses and Michael Abrams and a little Steve Giannetti there, <laughs> um, which I think it looks so pretty uh, above this beautiful Italian cabinet, which is now a bar. So 
one of the things I love to do is, again, have the outdoors come in. So we have a combination of this lantern, which we turned into a table lamp, really, and um, some of my favorite kind of old books that we just use as decoration on this pretty little Swedish table, and this beautiful maple that's turning, the leaves are turning, which gives it a kind of a feeling in here of, of late fall, early winter, which I like. So, is there anything else you want to talk about about this piece? Uh, no, I think did I get it? you got it. Okay. You got it. Did a nice job. So, you did very well. But so did you. <laughs> so, did you and Eddie. so if there's anything else you'd like to know about our living room, please uh, feel free to ask questions in the comment section. Um, until next time, goodbye from our living room at Patina Farm. Bye.